Hey guys, it's Gabriel Gaming 1125 back here for another video. And I just wanted to say um thank you again to Jeff Cross for making this uh, little thing. So a, a while ago, I mean before, for like a long time, I don't know. I made this little thing. You may have already seen it and what's inside it. It's basically the Papers Please rule book. From when you get it in the, in the game, basically. As you can see, it's all stapled, all made out of white paper, because, but in the actual book, it's yellowish, kind of. So, if I, um, yes, this is probably the money. So, I had so much trouble with this, especially with adding the tabs here, that's new. And I didn't, again, I didn't bother to make the map because it was too complicated. But I thought to myself, then did Jeff, did Jeff Crafts made um, a rule book about this? And I searched, and he did. So yeah, and my dad printed all. Um, it took him two days to print. To um, and then he printed some a little bit in the first day, and then more. Um, in the other day, but yeah, I kind of like this book a little, even though it's just. Like this. And yeah, I took this out. There was like this sticker right here. I took this out because I realized this was not the last page. So yeah. In the book. You can see the back of the book and the side of the book. I will raise really I want to make I wanted to make the printed book because this one kinda turned out to be like a fail. I tried to make this like an actual book where it has this like little side here. But then it worked out. It just basically broke. So I just put probably of ammo A as well. So yeah. So let's check out the printed book which is right here. Yeah. It's really big. It's more big than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like what Jeff Craft had. Where it would be it would be small because he just used back to back paper. Well this is just glued together because my dad didn't know um all of them were like back to back. So yeah, I just glued them together. Some of them actually didn't fail like that. So here is the inside. See our Saskan Ministry of Admission Rules and Regulations for Inspectors. Here's the contact tab. He didn't include the confiscation tab. Which is a little bit sad. So let's open this, and you can see here are all the rules. You got to put this a little bit. There we go. So it's kind of fixed, I guess. There we go. Really fixed. And here's the rules and everything. And see, so here's a tab thing. I actually made a little mistake. I accidentally printed the thing that has no tabs. So I just did this. Even though it's not print, not glued on together that much. So yeah. There's just a tab. Here's a little mistake. Which I don't like. Basically. Here's the map. And. Yeah. Basically good map. And. There is just the Antigria one. Make sure they are all in the correct order, which is alphabetical order. Antegria, Artotska, Artotska. Here's the districts. There's no diplomatic seals, so. Here's Impor. Next one is Kalechia, then Oberstan. I had a little bit of trouble with this because I accidentally glued this to the wrong thing and had to take it out. Had so much stuff on it. And, yeah, basically. Created this whole mess, so I had to tape it all. And also, with this thing, the Republia, United Fed, or the United Federation. And this is the, one of the stuff that I had trouble with Inspector's Booth and the upgrades. Yeah, so much trouble. Oh my gosh. Here's like the, your document tab. Here's your document tab here. So here's your Arstotskan ID card. Here's your access permit. 
Yeah, the card is just have the districts. Yeah, okay, access permit. Your work pass. Your diplomatic authorization. Grant of asylum and the vaccination certificate. And here's just the last page. And the back here, you can again, you can't see the back of the book, so he just made this with a symbol, property of MOA. And this little Arstotskan flag or symbol, I don't know. But he, and glory to Arstotskan. For me, I only put property of MOA because, well, I like to. And here, um, you see, it's like an actual notebook because there's like holes in it. I didn't use a cutter because, you know, the files were like too easy. But this one, my dad used the cutter. <laughs> because it was so gosh dang, it's so freaking, uh, I don't know, hard. I said gosh dang, is from, to not say, G-O-D-D-A-N-N, -N, which is a freaking swear word. Or kind of a bad word, I don't know. But yeah, in the side, you can see here it says MOA rule book. It looks very fantastic. It's more thicker than I thought it would be, rather than making than thin. So, um, so Jeff Crafts, please leave a comment in down below if you can, if you want to, to see which one did you like the most? Did you like the the old one or the new one? And let's see. Oh, and also let you let me let let's see if you guys think which one is better, the old one or the new one, the written the papers one, the paper one, or the printed one, which I didn't use cardstock, just normal paper. My dad actually. Yeah, um, the way I did this was just tape it all around here, and I basically before I ran out of tape, so my dad just had to um, give me lots of other tape and this here like this and this one just like taped together yeah all of this or like almost all of this are taped together like this as well taped together just to make them connect to make like, like a natural book so yeah that's basically um the end of it so i hope you enjoyed the book and I will use this for something like a like a and like a skit or something. But yeah, hopefully sometime in the future I will make something with this, or probably right, right now. But still, I love this book. It's a wonderful creation, and it's fantastic. So yeah, bye.